Guy, Sharon and Clint podcast. Hello, everybody, and welcome to today's edition of the Guy, Sharon and Clint podcast. We were quite mature today because we didn't <laughs> talk about the story that the Herald put on the front page of the paper and was the number one most read story on both Stuff and New Zealand Herald.co.nz, which was the uh, Conrad Harrell uh, Tallulah... Tawila. Tawila Blakely sex video. It wasn't even exciting. really. It wasn't even really a sex video. Like, wow! Ooh. When you watched it, you were like, "Is she actually doing that, or is it a joke?" Like, he's driving. It's impressive multitasking. He's driving, Snapchatting, and receiving a head bob at the same. Sharon's time. Sharon's got the video on her phone. Guy, have you seen it yet? I um, I have seen it uh, a little bit. I've seen stills of it. Okay, do you want to watch the whole You should watch it. The you this will be like those two girls, one cup um I videos that, of people I watching you had them. Seen it. I'm can you sure play it to Guy and we can get his reaction live? Okay, hang on a second. Dom sent it to me. I um, I think it's quite an interesting one because. There's literally no story, but at the same time, I love a bit of juicy goss. And you love a bit of juicy bobbing. Here we go. It's quite full on. <laughs> quite full on. Quite full on. Shoot, no. Uh, no, actually, I won't say Have that. Have you guys ever filmed yourselves having sex? No. No, I wouldn't. And first of all, one thing that my friend Carl always taught me Never ever put your face in the shot. Yeah, but she didn't. Crazy. She actually abided by that rule. Yeah, oh, Conrad, know, do you mean? I don't know why she came out and admitted it because I saw on Twitter everyone was saying it was her. And I she hadn't, it too, yeah. and she hadn't admitted it at the time. But then people started saying it was a different person that used to be on Short and Street that it does look like from behind. And um, Siobhan so Royal Carey. No. Oh. Um, and so she, I think maybe she came out and said that because she's friends with that girl and she didn't want that girl to get. Named what was changed. Lionel's old wife? Um, no, it wasn't her either. I think good on uh, Tallulah or whatever Minnie. her name Tawila. is. Tawila. Whatever. I don't know her name. Okay, I, I didn't know who she was beforehand. I yeah. vaguely recognised her face. Yeah. Um, I think good on her for just coming out and owning up and not trying to like skirt away from it because people are going to find out eventually. Yeah. I'd probably just say yes instead of like going into the fact There were that a lot you, of details. There was like too many details. I was like, okay, we get it. You guys are fuck buddies. You don't need to know anything whoa, more about whoa, that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. She, went, she did go into a lot of like, detail. Like too much info. Yeah. Um, That's what I thought. But like, she's so lovely. I've um, had a few drinks with her before at a random party and she was so much fun. Stop bragging about having a few drinks with a person who sucked off Connor. No, I'm just video. saying that she's a nice person not just someone that drives around in cars giving blowies. On today's podcast, Technolo guys in there. Your boy Bangs features. We've got Step Dave, um, a.k.a. A Jono show. is his real name. Hot. Um, dodgy doppelgangers. Uh, food that you ate that wasn't actually food. That's a disgusting chat in the end. It's all coming up in the Guy, Sharon and Clint podcast. Guy, Sharon and Clint on the edge. We have a segment we like to call How Does It Feel? Where every week we try and feel something from around the world. Mm. And we want to throw out to our listeners today, is there anything, what do you want to see us experience and how does it feel? Is there anything you've ever seen and thought, what does it feel like to experience that? Because we will do it for you. We will suffer that pain for you. I'd like to know how it feels to have a six-hour day spa treatment. (laughs) Okay. That could be an option. Hey, that very much could be an option. I look will at the ones find out for the listeners. I'm pretty sure you know how it feels, and that's good. Quite <laughs> a bit softer than the ones we've uh, done thus far. Uh, if you remember last week, Chang felt how does it feel to be tackled by a professional rugby player, mm-hmm. which was horrifically bad. Oh, bad. I've experienced um, laser hair removal. Again, horrifically bad. Sharon experienced childbirth. Um, horrendously bad. Horrendously Worst bad. Birth contractions. And probably the, and it. probably the biggest of them all. Clint ate the world's hottest chili. Terrifying. And had diarrhea for like four days. Hey! <laughs> so I, I was not supposed to share that amount of information. Anyway, we wanted to know from you, the listener, if there's any ideas you had. Because basically, we've done five things and we're like, hey, we've got nothing more. What do you, <laughs> what do you want to feel? What do you want to experience? Is there anything out there? 0800 The Edge, let us know because we will go through any torture for you. I've wondered what it's like to be stung by a scorpion. Really? Yeah. Would you like to isn't find that, out? Isn't that deadly? No, but as long as there's someone there to like administer the um, an- an- antidote. Is that real? What? That there's an antidote for scorpion venom? I'm guessing there is. Yeah? yeah is an you bloody hope poisons. so now, I suppose. Could you... Yeah, is there any de-venomized scorpions? Another thing is I'd like to fulfill how does it feel like to be sucked in by quicksand... Oh, terrifying. So That's these are things, because these are things you see in the movies. What and you're about, like, oh, I'd love to experience that. What about how does it feel to be buried alive? Oh, God. That's horrific. Yeah. yeah. 
That is absolutely horrific. If anyone knows anyone who can facilitate any of these options as well. Someone already texted in. The first text in was something that Guy, uh, inspired Guy to do this segment. And uh, we can't actually read it on air. Can't say we, it on is it the... we asked our boss if he could experience this on air and the boss said no. Is it... Um, you can listen to our podcast from like two weeks ago if you want to find out what it was because yeah. we said it in the intro. Door. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I was genuinely, I was genuinely fascinated. <laughs> All right, fire us your ideas. Um, what would you like us to experience this week? For how does it feel? We're going to put a short list together and find something to do tomorrow. Oh eight hundred the edge or text to three three four three. Help me get some quicksand. I need to get some quicksand in the studio or something. <laughs> or go to some quicksand. We want to experience everything and how it feels. We've got one rule, and the rule is that it can't cause permanent damage. So, so the person who texts in saying, I want to see how it feels to get kicked in the nuts with a steel cap boot, Ooh. unfortunately that will probably ruin your chances of having a baby, so we're going to cancel that one out. Well, it might be a good idea for maybe... No, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like someone who just wanted one of us to tell you, like, get a boot in the nads, and they this is a good way of them getting it done in yeah. the name of science. Someone out there wanted one of you guys not to reproduce. Troy, what is your idea for how does it feel? Oh, my idea was... Um Oh, anyone to get shot in the foot by a paintball gun. Oh, why the foot? Well, you're looking straight at it. You can see what happens. I mean, you're looking straight down. It's like a suicide. Oh. Wouldn't that rebound off your foot and into your face, potentially? No, they don't bounce. Well, oh. well that would add twice the fun. I do <laughs> like... I, I like that one because it's so stupid it's almost good. Another one that we've had that's so stupid it's almost good is I want to know what it feels like to eat a Mentos and drink a Coke. If you combine them in a bottle, it explodes... So would you projectile vomit and crap? <laughs> and that is possibly what would happen, am I right? Oh, I don't it would definitely not be a fun time, that's for sure. It'll make your stomach feel a little bit big. Hey, Mark, what's your suggestion for how does it feel? Well, how does it feel? I think it would be quite interesting to see how it feels to get a nipple piercing. Oh, I've heard that's very painful, Mark. Have you had a nipple piercing? No, my friend has, and uh, it's put me off it for life. But, yeah. you know, you, uh, you got to see what else is out there, and <laughs> someone else might find it different. The, pro- <laughs> the problem is, if we did that, we would spend half of our show looking for Clint's nipples, because yeah, his yeah, nipples yeah. are literally... <laughs> His nipples are the size of a fingertip. What like, do you mean? Maybe, the, like this, that, the minuscule. Show me. They, maybe, they, maybe you could tease them out with an ice cube. No, no Mark, 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 that barely, makes them get smaller. Honest to God. Hang on, guy, these are my nipples here, and these, this is this is warm and fully dilated, I suppose. <laughs> they are the world's oh. smallest. You can barely see but look, them. See the little bit that you'd have to put the... What a freak. Oh, girl, I don't want to look at it anymore. Gross. There's, no way. there's looks, nowhere to pierce it. What a to, freak. To describe it, there's hair around it, and then it just looks like an insect bite. There's no actual nipple part to it. <laughs> I, lit- I literally have two mosquito bites. Mark, it's a good idea, but it would only be um, Guy, Sharon, and Chang on the wheel. So for that reason, I'm up for it. Thank you for your call. No worries. Okay, there's three that are coming for the text machine most commonly. The first is get a police taser. Oh, yeah. Ooh. If anyone knows, we would be up for these. If anyone knows a policeman or someone who works for police PR who would be able to administer a taser to us, um, I think that would be a good one to experience. Because you want, you see cr- him to criminals and you're like, that's pretty horrific. Yeah. We could do that for science. The other is a police dog. Oh, We've yeah, tried yeah, yeah. to organise this before and they said no. They I've, wouldn't let us do it. I've been kind of attacked by a police dog. I was wearing protective arm things, though. Yeah. And it was, it's the kind of thing that if a police dog was biting you without arm protectors on, because um, it was already terrifying just a, dr- a dog dragging me around the grass. Yeah. It would um, literally, like, break your arm. If you sure. if you are a dog handler Ugh. that could help us experience that, we'd love you to email chang at theedge.co.nz. Is there and, one uh, more? The, uh, the final one, uh, a lot of people are keen for the scorpions idea. Okay, again, if you've got scorpions, give us a text Is or email Butterfly chang. Creek, Creek an option? Like, um, or leeches? I, I'd be, I, I, that'd be a good one that people text in. Leeches yeah. on the body. That would ooh. be so gross. A bunch of good ideas that have come in. And, uh, what do you mean, it, ooh, Sharon? Would you be interested in some leeches. You'd be terrified. Well, they, they do it for like facials and stuff. Do you know a fun do people fact? people do it for, fu- for, for, for fun? Yeah. Yeah, they use them in operations Oh, that's stuff, messed up. Well, that's too like soft that. then. Okay. It's harder. If you've got any contacts that, you can email chang at theedge.co.nz. Oh, guy, Sharon oh. and Clint on the urge. It's time, right about that time, for the stars to roll on out. That was a, something from NBA Live 1996 that I remember quite fondly. Okay, cool. I, do, I don't feel like you're fully committed to it. Like yeah, if you, I feel if like you're going to do that, you've got to be like, it's time for the stars to come and roll out. <laughs>
Like, get into it. <laughs> that was so much better. Get into it, babe. It's time, right about that time, for the mm. stars to roll on out. Roll them out, boy. As Technologa brings you some tips for technology and various other things in life. Oh, no, he did it. You might know us a letter from a celebrity this week, so check out this week's Technolo Guy. Hello, and welcome to another instalment of Technolo Guy. Sharon keeps on saying, when's Technolo Guy going to end? The answer is, it just keeps on going and going. Today, I answer your questions and talk about the little things that you can do to help make your internet experience more easy and more enjoyable. Is more easy a term? Ah, oh, well, we'll just roll with it anyway. Did you know that you can favourite your own tweets and like your own posts on Facebook? It's a quick and easy way to digitally give yourself a pat on the back. Plus, everyone thinks you're super cool. Let's jump into the mailbag. Splash, jump, jump. Dear Technolo Guy, I wanted to impress my friends, so I took your advice and started typing sent from my iPad at the bottom of my emails myself. Unfortunately, my friends are now asking if they can borrow my iPad, and I don't know what to do. Cheers, B-Rad from Dunedin. Cheers for the feedback, Dunedin. This is indeed a sticky situation that I have been in many times before and will be many times in the future. The answer is surprisingly simple. Fake your own death. Change your name to Kenneth Gaffney and move to the Solomon Islands. No one will find you there. I hope that helps. Next question. Dear Technolo Guy, I have recently been experimenting with car sex. Here's my question. Should I film it or should I not film it? I want to film it, but I'm worried it's going to be shared on the internet because I'm a very famous rugby league player. However, my mate Aaron Smith told me about this new app called Snapchat, where you can film yourself having sex and show everyone the video, and then it instantly deletes so no one can see it ever. Should I give it a try? What do you think? Sincerely, Conrad Harrell. P.S. Also, say if I had already theoretically and literally done this, is there any way I could perhaps delete the footage from the internet or from everyone's computers and or brains and minds and sort out some sort of space-time continuum or time machine a la Back to the Future where I could go back in time and erase the footage forever and stop it from getting out? Thanks for the email, Conrad. If I was you, I'd just I'd lie low for a couple of days and, uh, yeah, no, pretty much you're f- that's all for Technolo Guy this week. Thanks for listening. Ka kite ano. <laughs> Thank you, Technolo Guy. Guy Sharon and Clint. On the edge. Do you have a dodgy doppelganger? Somebody that looks exactly like you, but you just hope nobody ever notices. <laughs> because my friend Shane put, had to put a screen cap on Facebook today saying, everybody, this is not me, after he went to a party on Saturday night at like a, a big club, and people were going up to him thinking that this was him. It was on... An adult site. A porno site. It was on one of those sites, and he... Is, I looked at the picture and I said, are you, are you sure that's not you? Because it looks exactly Did like you. Did he go and get you. a screen cap of the guy from the site? Because that would be awkward. Yeah, no, he got, he got a screen cap because somebody sent it to him and they said, why are you on the site? Is the guy, and it looks exactly like him. Is the guy on the site a porn star? No, he's... I think he's kind of like a bit of a um, pay for a cuddle kind of guy, and so he's advertised. Oh, he's, a web, on there. he's a webcam dude. Yeah, so he's advertised oh. on there as um, a, a, a hairy bear, which is I don't know amazing. why he just calls himself a hairy bear. And What's your friend's name? My friend's name's Shane. Is he is he gay? Yeah. So okay, so the gay guys are going. There's a there's a gay guy on this a gay porn site who yeah. looks like in that. Th- Ooh. And this so is he was like, it's, word, not, he's like it's not me. And like, he's got a lovely boyfriend and stuff. He's like, it's definitely not me. Yeah. And then people, when he put it on Facebook, a couple of people were thinking, oh my God, I felt so bad because I was thinking, how am I going to explain this to your boyfriend? Because yeah, they true. thought that they had found him on this webcam site. It was terrible. Um, there was that news a few months ago about the guy in Auckland going around pretending to be Benji Marshall. Apparently he had a, um, a arm tat like Benji's and he looked a lot like Benji. He was Sitting going to on clubs a bench like, a lot. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he was going to clubs and he was like, it's me, Benji, let me in and let me have a bar tab. And that was pissing Benji off because it wasn't him. Um, backfired a little bit because the bar's like, oh, mate, we can't have you come in here. It's not a good look. Also, he would have uh, felt felt bad too because he was missing out on the bar tab. It's really terrible. Steve, has this happened to you? Yeah, well, uh, so there's a guy out there that's a, a gay porn star in the States, uh, quite famous. Yeah. And he's got the same first and last name as me. So <laughs> whenever you Google search my name, it comes up with this gay porn star guy. Oh. And I get all his tweets because I've like, I was like first to Facebook, first to Twitter, 
And so I get all his tweets. He puts a blog out and everyone's tweeting, I love what you wrote, man. Da, 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 da. I'm like, I've got no idea what you're on about. Oh, imagine that. Crazy. Imagine that if you are going out on a date and a girl's like, Googles I'm, I'm going to do a wee Google. <laughs> and she Googles you and she's thinking, who the hell am I going out with? Yeah, it's all over. So I, I guess my only solution is I need to take a whole heap of selfies of me and just out... I'll Google this guy. Most definitely. Your other option, Steve, is to turn gay and just pick up the other famous Steve's um, sloppy seconds, I suppose. Maybe. <laughs> give, it, give it a go, Steve. Oh, you never know what could happen. Not too keen on that one. Someone texts in saying their dad gets called up because he's got the same name as a Russian terrorist. Oh. And every airport, you're just stuck because of yeah. your name. It'd be amazing. That's oh, It's like my husband gets stopped every time at an airport just because he has tattoos. <laughs> Actually, oh, yeah. And because he did that bad prank at the airport that oh, time. Oh, yeah, and because no. he's New Zealand's worst terrorist. <laughs> no, literally, <laughs> when you go around, guys going through tattoos will feel me on that. It does happen all the time. Yeah. Lucy, you've got a dodgy doppelganger. I do. What <laughs> well, happened? my dad does. Yeah. What happened to your dad? Oh, my family name's Jonas. Yes. And um, I get it all the time about being asked I'm related to the Jonas Brothers, which I'm not. Mm-hmm. But my, fa- my dad's first name is Kevin. Kevin. And he doesn't oh. have much knowledge of the Jonas Brothers, but when he joined Facebook um, and he wrote his name was Kevin Jonas, it took him like a couple of weeks to get verified, <laughs> and he had no idea why. Amazing. That is so annoying. And how, how did he get around that? Did he change his name on Facebook, or is he no, just he using just it? No, he just kept um, the name Kevin Jonas, but he's had a few ads from, like, quite young. Yeah. <laughs> like, why, am I so, why am I so popular with teenage girls? Yeah. Yeah. Why am I being added on 12 year old? <laughs> That is so weird. You, you'd be even more weirded out if your dad started add, adding like 22-year-olds that thought he was Kevin Jonas as well. <laughs> David, who do you get mistaken for? Um, David Bain. Do you what, look what? like David Bain or is your name David Bain? No, my name is actually David Bain. Uh, thank God I don't look like him. Unbelievable. Oh. Your name is David Bain. So when you've yeah. gone for jobs and stuff, David, do people... <laughs> Do you have to take your CV in and be like, just so you know, I'm not David Bain, David Bain? Yeah. Well, it's kind of like it's automatic now for me for the first thing to say when I uh, have to say my name over the phone. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, it's it, like, yeah. and I'm not that one. Fair <laughs> is enough. it hard for you in winter or at festive seasons when it's time to wear a nice knitted jumper? Have you just never <laughs> been able to do that? Yeah, nah, I'm, a, I'm all good. I'm, I'm tattooed and boganed and pierced and tattooed, so I'm okay. all good. As all many right. tattoos to get away from David Bain as possible, yeah, eh? people probably see you and be like, man, David Bain's changed since he's been to JOA. <laughs> yeah, and it, it's funny, too, because, like, over the years, it's like it dies down, I'm like, yay, and then something will happen, and it comes back up, and then it's like, oh. Ah. And you, I'll say my name over the phone, and you can hear people, like, their brains are ticking, or you'll yeah. hear that gasp. Yeah. <laughs> Unlike, you know? unlike David Bain, you, David Bain, have a life sentence. Yes. <laughs> Sky, Sharon and Cliff. On the edge. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, he's going to take you to the movies via Sudan, via <laughs> Melbourne. Please welcome to the studio the YouTube sensation, your boy, Bain! <laughs> thank you. Thank you guys for having me here. Hey, yeah. welcome to New Zealand, Banks. Oh, thank you. Have you been quite surprised with how many people are stalking you out? Because since you've been in our studio, people have been kind of sifting around our door and walking around to get a wee glimpse of bangs. Yeah, that was a surprise. I look like, did I steal something? You know? They're like, <laughs> you didn't you know? steal anything. That's why people look at me like, yo, oh, I'm like, okay, okay. It's just me here. Are you, are you surprised at the attention? Because everyone knows you from your hit song, um, Take You to the Movies. Yeah, I was surprised actually because... I never thought that it's gonna come, you know, the video is gonna get that views and people will know me that much, you know, so I'm like, okay. Nine million views on the song Take You to the Movies, and that is the song you are most known for. You released that back in 2009 now. Yeah, 2009. That was like, the song is like five years old right it's now. It's old, and you've just made it to New Zealand for your first concert. Yeah. Yeah. It's like you if you were Kanye, it'd be Gold Digger. It's going to be that song that you've got to play all the time now, Bangs. Well, f- five, five years old, I look at it like that's way back, you know. So every time when I write something new, you know, I keep mm. continuing on and I, f- I keep forget the back and I write the new things, you know. So I'm worrying about the new things right now, like my new album, mm-hmm. Millionaire's Dream. I've got a question. Do you freestyle? Nah, I, I write. I'm a writer. You're you know, a writer? So, yeah, mm-hmm. so I write my 
Oh, we were hoping you were going to drop a verse about New Zealand, but you don't, you don't, um, you yeah, don't. Yeah, I only write, you know, because uh, freestyle, you could just say what you want to say, but for me, I focus on important things, you know, mm-hmm. so yeah. I write what in reality, you know, like what's happening in real life. Okay. You know, so that's what I'm, I'm right about. Guys are really good freestyle. I could he perhaps freestyle for you and then you give your, like we're on X Factor or something, and you can give your Simon Cowell review to Guy on his freestyle. <laughs> yeah, all, all right, let's All right, well, let's drop a beat. It's the guy Sharon Clinch show, the show you wanna hangs. I'm chilling out with my main boy Bangs. Going to the movies, going to some dates. Gonna find out that we're hanging with some mates on the straights. On the Cook Straits. <laughs> in New Zealand. Bangs is taking a selfie during my freestyle, it's kinda disrespectful. <laughs> Bangs, what'd you think of that, mate? See, see, that's the that's freestyle that I just sometimes look I don't know. I can't even explain it, but it just it's all right. It's okay, but you just because you just say you what you, you 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 in reality, you know what I'm saying? You just say what's coming out right away, you know? Yeah. Bangs, so you can just, you can be honest, mate. You can be completely brutally honest with me. Hey. What do you think of my freestyle? Six out of ten. Six. <laughs> That's really oh. good. A six out of ten from Bangs is amazing. Yeah. Homeboy, I liked it. Bangs <laughs> plays in uh, Auckland tomorrow night at the Lucha Lounge in Newmarket, which already is pretty much sold out, right? It's not going to be big enough for your show. Yeah, I have to do the second one. Yeah, so. so if that's sold out, he goes to Wellington. The next night on Thursday, he's going to be down in Wellington at a place called Puppies. That's on Torrey Street. Um, the tickets for that are on sale right now. And then back to Auckland potentially for a second show on the 9th, right? Yeah, on the 9th. I hope so because I'm looking for the venue. Yeah. So I hope I'll find one on the ninth. Yeah. Any 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 shout out you'd like to give to your New Zealand fans listening? Well, I would I would love you know big thanks to New Zealand fans. You know what I'm saying for having me down here. Big thanks to all of you too. Yeah. For having me down at the radio show and big thanks for the for David for having me on TV. David yesterday. Ferrier. Yeah. 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 So I just love love New Zealand fans and you know I hope I'll see you guys. And you New know. Zealand fans love you. Yeah. Your boy bangs everybody. Yeah. Yeah. Sharon and Clint on the bloody edge. Play, play my intro. Oh, I thought you were going to say it. No. Oh, do we already know what Ladies time it is? Ladies and gentlemen, play, I'll introduce no, it. No, no, just let it speak for itself. You know what time <laughs> it is. You're about to get uber factored in the face. <laughs> no, she did it. Oh, yes, she did. You can't say you know what time it is if you've got to tell people what time it is. What time is it? It's Uber Facts time, <laughs> girl! Now, this week's Uber Facts, get ready to have your mind blown because I'm ready. these are some of my best. First up, this one is uh, if you have one of those people that drink a lot of water and then you need to go to the bathroom all the time. You're like, hot damn, I need a weed, I need to go right now! But you can't because the bathroom's ages away or your boss is wiring on about something. If you think about making love, that will help you hold your wee longer. Oh my god, that is something I'm going to use in the future. Have you guys tried that? That is a horrible idea. So the idea is that if you need to go to the toilet, you fix the problem by getting a boner. Well, <laughs> no, if you, ca- if, you can't, if, if you can't go somewhere, then if you can't go right away, just, just I've solved just think my toilet it. problem, but I've got a whole new problem, which is a tent in my pants. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe if you're a woman then. Ne- Sorry if you, just the thought of sex gets you aroused. That's generally what gets <laughs> someone aroused. Next super fact. One chocolate chip. That's right, just one chocolate chip can give a person enough energy to walk 150 feet. If you've needed an excuse to go to the gym, just eat a bag of chocolate chips. Ooh. <laughs> Counterproductive somewhat, but still uberish. It is very uberish. That was interesting. I liked that one. Facebook. Let's talk about Facebook okay, now, guys. Let's go I've to got that an world. amazing uber fact about Facebook. Facebook is linked to one out of every five divorces in the United States. No, and it's not. This is increasing in other countries too. This just came out in their census. You can't take this away from me. That is an uber fact. No, that, arguing with me. That is stupid because it just means that people are, are divorced are on using Facebook all the time. That's all that means. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So, fa- that's but exactly, it's not causing, that's exactly, Facebook isn't causing it. Yes, it is. Because got, they're using their point. Facebook too much. They're just getting found on Facebook. So they're saying if you don't want to get caught cheating on your wife, don't have a Facebook account. It's not just cheating on your Facebook, but they're using Facebook. Okay. And too much. Too much. I feel like I can't oh, argue with these, 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 these. You've got super tight Uber u- facts. I got another one that'll help you out. If you ever get an itchy throat and you're like, God damn it, why can't I get my hand down my mouth so I can scratch my inner throat? That's not a thing. Yeah, you have an itchy throat. <laughs> I do. I'm just what? like, God, I wish I could itch that. I try what is the Uber things. solution? The Uber solution is just scratch your ear. 
You scratch your ear. Scratch your ear to help your throat. Yes, it helps. And the final one today. That's dubious. This is <laughs> one. Best. This is one for everyone to try at home. You cannot talk while inhaling through your nose at the same time. Everybody, give it a go. So breathe in through your nose and try and talk. Yeah. You go first. <laughs> <laughs> Guy, you give it a go? Sure. No, I can't do it. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I can't do it. I'm out. I'm out. Okay, I'm going to start with the talking and try and take a breath while okay, I'm talking. Okay, go. Good luck. Sharon, these are... <laughs> <laughs> so there it is for another week in your ear holes for your listening pleasure. Hot damn girl, go what's up, Another you great. know what time it is You're about to get uber factored in the face Guy Sharon and Clint Itch Have you ever eaten something and then after a few chompany chomp chomps You realise this is not food that I'm eating right now We got sent a little pack today from Sky TV advertising mm-hmm. one of their channels And we were like oh that's so nice And then inside it you can see a picture of these on our Facebook page Facebook.com forward slash Edge Afternoons there was a little package that had two kind of 80s themed Pac-Man... Ghosts. Ghosts. And they looked like... Fudge. Well, I thought they were chocolate. Yeah, I thought it was fudge. And Clint thought they were fudge. I thought they were like some sugar candies. And then Clint goes, oh, lollies, and walked off. I was sitting at the computer with Chang, and I said, do you want a lolly? I don't want the... I thought one of them was like a juby kite one. I was like, oh, yeah, I don't want the juby one. I just want the chocolate <laughs> one. And then we both chomped into it, Chang and I... Yeah. And I looked at Chang and I was like, that's not chocolate. He's like, that's really not that nice. <laughs> and then I was like, sniffed it and I was like, oh my God, it's soap. And so we were both literally spitting into the rubbish bin. Then as I was walking to the staff room, I saw Clint in the marketing department. And he's yeah. like, oh God, it's soap. <laughs> I only had a bite out of it. Clint had eaten an entire soap. I put the whole thing in my mouth and started chewing straight away. <laughs> we thought they were candies, and they turned out to be these horrible soaps. This is wonderful, because I'm the only one who hasn't eaten one yet, but they look so good, and that even though hearing your horror stories, I still want to put one in my mouth. Eat one. Eat it now. Eat one. Get a live eat reaction. Eat it now. Eat it. We want- I'm quite tempted. Should I eat one? Eat yeah. it. They look delicious. Eat now. Mine never matter. Eat some of it. I could just fake one. I've got a, an orange Pac-Man soap lolly. Yes. yes. I've eat never it. eaten soap before. Eat one. <laughs> oh, yeah. He put the oh, whole thing in his mouth. Oh. He put the whole thing in his mouth. Chew, 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 chew. It literally took me an hour to get rid of the, like, the taste in my oh. mouth. Guys throwing up into Where's a piece of paper. Where's the mouthwash? Where's the mouthwash? Um, we don't have any. Someone, give me some mouthwash. It was oh. so don't, disgusting. Don't leave. We're still going to do the radio show. We want to know, though, when have you eaten something thinking it was food and it turned out to be something else? You can call us on 0800 The Edge or text us. So 3343, three, Clint have had some good ones off our Facebook page. I don't page. think yeah. that's soap. I think that's a, like a toilet urinal cake or something like that. That's <laughs> um, a shocker. Jo commented on our Facebook and said she thought there was a bowl of fancy jelly beans on the coffee table when she grabbed a handful and it turned out they were decorative stones. Oh, <laughs> God. All she said was hurtful. Someone said, you know that dipping liquid they give you at restaurants when you eat something sticky like ribs to wash your fingers in? I know someone who thought it was soup and drank that. Someone commented to that comment and they said, clear dr- uh, dipping liquid? Do you mean water? Oh, no. <laughs> Great call. It is so bad. We want to hear your stories, though, and I'm sure there'll be more people out there that have eaten something worse than soap. What? 0800 The Edge or text us to 3343. What did you eat that turned out to not be food? Ben, what did you eat? Uh, I accidentally drank some of my son's urine. <laughs> what? <laughs> how, how did this happen, Ben? Um... Sometimes as a parent when you're out and about, your kid kind of needs to go to the toilet, so you grab whatever's handy, and I happen to have one of those new Red Bull bottles. Okay. So, yeah, I let my son go in the bottle and then put it back in the car, promptly forgot about it about a week later. My wife was cleaning out the car, and she comes in, and she goes, oh, babe, I found a Red Bull in the car, and I'd forgotten, and she hands it to me, and I take a drink, and I just kind of started gagging. I looked at her, and I was like, baby, that's not Red Bull. That's my (laughs) son's urine. Oh. Oh! Disgusting. It wasn't even fresh. Oh. <laughs> it wasn't, <laughs> it wasn't it's so bad. I don't mind my son's urine if it's straight from the source, but when it waits a week in the car, that's where I draw the line. Yeah, it's not like wine. It doesn't age with time. <laughs> okay, thanks, Ben. Rebecca, what did you eat by mistake? 
Um, I ate a candle shaped as a chocolate. Awesome. <laughs> it's so easily done. How long did it take you to realise you were eating a candle, Rebecca? Um, my mum, it was at Christmas. My mum was looking at me funny like, what are you doing? And I like, put it in my mouth and I could feel it all over my teeth. I was like, oh, oh. what is this? It took so long to get off my face. Did, it's so disgusting. Did it have a wick or anything? Yeah, that's the thing. Everyone's like, how did you not see it? And I was like, well, it's kind of like one of those candles that are pushed over so... You okay. can't see the wicked, like, bend it up. <laughs> oh, Rebecca, that would have been disgusting. Lance, what about you? Yeah, hey, uh, yeah, I had, um, I come home one night after a few nights on the bears and uh, there's a pot full of food. Um, so I started hoeing into it and then uh, woke up in the morning and my mate come in and said, hey, hey, who ate all the food in the pot? Yeah. I said, it was me. Mate, and I was, you know, sorry, a few beers, and he goes, ah, that was actually the dog's food, mate. <laughs> what? <laughs> Amazing! Was it on the floor, or, like, where was it? <laughs> no, it was in the pot, because he cooks chicken hearts and chicken meat with vegetables and... For his dog. ...roll and rice for the dog. Can I tell oh. you guys, and you include lunch, can I tell you a disgusting story, which is very similar to this, but to your story, but takes it to a whole other level? Yeah. Yeah. I used to work with these guys in, in Rotorua, um, yeah. and they went out on uh, the booze to celebrate the birth of their first his guy's first son <laughs> he came home his wife yes. had saved the afterbirth the oh, placenta no. to bury oh, in, exactly to bury in the backyard oh, no. they cooked it up and ate it because they thought it was some kind of meat that's the oh. worst story cancel the radio station no, we're all going home <laughs> No, I'm leaving. <laughs> that is a real story as well. Lance, I bet you feel better about the dog food now. I feel a lot better. I actually might even just go and have that for tea. <laughs> Sorry, oh, Lance. Is, yeah. Guy, Sharon and Clint. On the edge. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the studio, all the way from the hit show Step Dave, please welcome John O'Kenyo. Hey. Look <laughs> Boy. Man, I feel like I'm entering a boxing ring or something else. <laughs> it's, it is a very similar situation. You should mm. be just as nervous. But welcome to the show. Thank you very much. You're it's on, good to be here. You're on TV2, Step Dave, who are having their big finale tonight at 8.45 on TV2. Gotta say, I am looking forward to it because last week I was in tears and then I had to come to work and I was angry because of the outcome of last week's episode when your character Dave and Kara broke up. Well, spoiler alert. No, well, this is it happened last week. I know, I saw my skydive. Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> spoiler alert, they broke up and it was <laughs> it was horrible. Have you been copping a lot of flack, flack for that? No, well, it was actually Kara that kind of dumped Dave, so um, Kara's been getting the flack and everyone's been... Uh, feeling sorry for Dave so mm. I've had a lot of pats on the back and <sighs> it made me feeling... very angry well I'm sorry about that I hope I hope we can rectify that tonight well I hope so I'll, I'll, now I have to watch because I because I have this weird thing and I don't know if you come across it with your fans but when I watch TV shows I get emotionally invested in these relationships where mm. I get really happy when they succeed and when they fail I'm miserable about it so do you find that with a lot of people that watch Step Dave that they come up and give you advice about like dating someone that's way older yeah, than you I mean, well that's the power of the television right and uh, I get people come up to me firstly my new name now is Step Dave I'm yes. not trying <laughs> anymore no. yeah. Yeah. so if you guys could all refer to me Step Dave. That sure thing. Me okay. I sure thing, Step Dave. I love how yeah, Step Dave great. isn't even the name of the character <laughs> on the show. It's just Dave. <laughs> so it's like um, Mr. Dave. There was, no, there, was, <laughs> there was one scene when they tried to phase it in when Dave uh, moved in with Kara and she, they were like, what is he? Is our, he our dad, our stepdad? And she said, you're Step God, Dave. You do watch the show, don't you? Well, I don't pretend to watch shows. <laughs> that, that's I, the I, only I time they've tried to phase it in. I often pretend to watch shows and it, it always shows. So I'm like, so tell me about that new, sh- new, that new character, Quinton. <laughs> 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 oh, you read the scripts, did you? <laughs> uh, but no, I suppose to answer your question, yeah, I get a lot of people. Um, it's really nice to feel that people are investing emotionally in the show because mm. a lot of people that approach me on the street, it's not just oh, you're that guy from TV, bro. Yeah, it's mm. like um, <laughs> it's like oh man, I love Dave or I relate to Dave or this is happening in my relationship too, and so on. No so need to do that, dude, to hit you up on the street in a racist accent. But anyway, <laughs> <laughs> you can do that. Whatever floats your boat. What are you talking mate? about, guy? You. Um, stupidly, some would say, admitted to us that you have experimented with freestyling a little bit, freestyle rapping. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, well, if, for the for the for the um, edge listeners, I've done that twice now. On yeah. Well, you haven't done it for us yet. Oh, um, and today on the show, we have had no. guy freestyle for your boy bangs. Would you be prepared to freestyle for us? And if I threw you the topic of the final of Step Dave, 
So why sh- people should watch it? I can drop your bait. Uh, oh I'll gosh. Get- okay. This is okay. I'll yeah. give you a line. Okay, okay. The worse it is, the better, mate. Yeah. I can't okay. wait. Um. Okay. All right. Yep. We're into yep. this. All right. Yep. DJ, drop that shit. Girls didn't want to know my name when I was behind the bar. And now they want to see my name when they see me from afar. They come up to me and they say, hey, it's Step Dave. I love your show. Oh, my God, it's my fave. I just want to be your TV slave. I said, girl, don't you know it's the only show to watch? You just want to see me with my clothes or see my crush. But there's only one episode to go this tonight. We're going to make it real good like the Floyd Mayweather fight. It's going to end, but it's going to carry on. Because season two is going to come not too long. And off we go. We'll take it to the next show. Ed Radio, that's how I roll. Oh! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the king of awkward white boy rapping, the wonderful, <laughs> the amazing John O'Kenya! You can catch him tonight on Step Dave on TV2, the finale. At 8.45, don't miss it, it is going to be amazing. Will Cara and Dave get back together? We don't know. Guy Sharon and Clint, Edge. Thanks to everyone who's listening to the radio show. I just wanted to say that, you know. It's always nice to have people listening to the show. What are we supposed to be talking about right now? Because I'm confused. We're talking about Facebook fishermen. <laughs> we're going out in our little three-person boat. We're sailing out together and we're talking about people that are just putting their rod out to get compliments. So these are dudes on Facebook who go like, oh, I look terrible in this photo. And then everyone goes, nah, babes, you look hot. No, guy, you're super sexy. I was mocking one of my friends today because she didn't go to work and she posted a selfie on Instagram with the hashtags, hashtag winter, hashtag cold, hashtag in bed, hashtag rainy days. And then she had a snowman and a, and a snowflake as, as part of the caption. And I was like, well... What what are you what are you doing that for? Because you're obviously not that cold because you've posted a, a selfie of you in bed clearly naked. So if you, oh how if, clearly naked? If you like, she's got the blankets on, but you can see that she's not wearing a top or anything. Really? And I said to her, I was like, you stop being a fisherman. Can I see? And you just no, I already showed it to you. <laughs> oh. And I, I was like, you go put some clothes on if you're cold. Don't you hashtag about it? Mm. Don't hashtag about it. I um I completely Good understand chat, that. Mate. <laughs> I completely understand that because uh, it's one of those things where I feel like with that situation when she's naked, she's like fishing for like a, I guess like a sexy thing. Like you you need someone to come and wrap you up and make you warm. There's someone that works here at the Edge who's really bad at it too on yeah. Twitter. Well, you're gonna have to say who it is now because you just did this. He's mysterious talking line. about he's talking about Cooge, isn't it? Yeah, Coo- it's Cooge. It's, we can say it because we've Cooge told here? We t- tell him to his face. That we've he told it. him that he's a fisherman. Is Cooge here? No, but his his this status is quite aw- this like, is, Can I say this is quite awkward that you've brought it up? You're like is Cooge. It? Yeah, you've well, just well, we him have out. told him. Hey, yeah, we've told Cooge, and he's got a public Twitter. Yeah, 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 and he does it all the time. And he's like um, that moment when you realise that you dodged a massive bullet only three months too late, <laughs> but it doesn't allude to anything that. That was last night's tweet. There's another so one. So mysterious. Like, and what did you find out? What bullet he do- dodged? Um, no. Well, because I didn't want to ask. I didn't want to fuel the fire. Yeah. I didn't want to fuel the fire. <laughs> there was there was one the other week which I loved. Um, and we're not being mean to Koji either. He's we're super, being a little bit mean. He's so cute. He said, "Um, back to the." Back to double gym classes. The goal is still a Zac Efron body. You're welcome, next lover. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's just him motivating himself online, but there's one that's like... That's pretty hilarious. When will she notice me? And it's like, who, Cooch? Who do you want to notice you? And he's like, never mind. I'm like... <laughs> I'm sitting there going, I noticed you today, babes. You know I'm married. Just back off. <laughs> then, that's the thing, though, is that it drives me crazy. You see people do this online, and they're like... Just at the gym, being at the gym again. Just the people are like, get on you, girl, get on you. Well, just go to the gym. You don't need to tell me every day that you've been. If you go to the gym and you don't tell anybody about it on Facebook, did you actually really work out? I don't think you did. Will you get dim gains? Facebook <laughs> fishermen, do you know someone and how do they fish? Yeah. Facebook fishers are really illegal when it comes to social media. They should, should be. They should not be on there. They're those people that will. Uh, Ellie Goulding actually did it yesterday. She posted a picture of her at the swimming pool. It was a shot of behind her. She was clearly just posting a picture of her bum. She's got an incredible body as yeah, well. Yeah, totally. And instead of saying, check out my hot ass at the swimming pool, she said, silly jandals. But like, you uh, could, yeah, yeah, you yeah, could yeah, barely yeah. see the jandals. It was just a bikini bum shot. And like, honestly, if you look like that, just go online, because I would, and just be like, hashtag 
hot ass. Hashtag, you'll never get this. That's what I do. <laughs> but not, those Geordie not... Shore douchebags who go in the bathroom and take a photo of themselves with their shirt off and they're like, man, my bathroom really needs a clean. Yeah, but it's, it's just them going... Ugh. It is the dumbest thing ever. But we want to hear about the Facebook... Fuck, blah, 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 blah. It actually annoys Facebook me how much people do this. fishes in your life. It actually annoys me how much people do it. It happens all... Like, Instagram is basically all fishing all the time. <laughs> Everyone's like, just going out tonight and then they'll just have a shot of their boobs. All right, let's go to the phones. Hey, Dennis. What about you? Who's the Facebook fisher in your life? Um, I think uh, your very own Guy Williams. Me? Ah. He is a massive fisher. Now, what's an example you've got, Dennis? Um, uh, he's always saying, hey, I'm at the strip club again. <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys, can I just say that I, it just gets me real down when people say I'm fishing all the time, and uh, it's just one of those things where I just I don't mean to. You're fishing right now. I'm fishing right now. Oh, it's like Inception fishing. You fish you're so fishing, hard that Dennis hung up. Dennis is like, I'm out of here. I'm gonna reel in some baits with it though. Fishing twenty four seven. You definitely do fish though, because yeah, you sit it. there and you're like, oh, I'm so single. I think it's because I'm not attractive. It's and my then we're like, yeah. where's the turn around and be like. Ugh, yeah. You're an attractive guy. You're not as attractive as your brother, but you're still pretty attractive, yeah. I guess. Guy, they gave you a trophy. Get over it. <laughs> <laughs> doing a cool dance. Doing a cool dance. It's doing not a cool, cool dance. dance. It's not a cool dance. Oh, it's, it's a bad dance. Now sit down and go I, back to your fishing I, online. I'm the worst at dancing, guys. Oh, fishing again! Boom! No, because we, oh. didn't, we didn't give you a compliment. Yeah. We agree with you. You are the worst dancer. <laughs> Courtney, who is, the, who is the Facebook fisherman in your life? It's my boyfriend, but I don't want to say his name in case he's listening. Say his name. Say his name. Say his name. Say his name. Okay, his name's Brent. Okay, Brent. Brent, if you've got a girlfriend named Courtney, this is about you. What does Brent do? Uh, he posts every single day that he is at the gym. Awesome. And I asked him about it, and he goes, oh, it's because there's a competition, and it's been going on for like three months now. So. <laughs> what, what is the competition? Who can be the most annoying gym goer on Facebook? It's <laughs> <laughs> it, Look, that's bad, because if, if that is the case, I already know who's won that competition. And it's not oh, it's definitely him. It's, it's so awkward too because all my friends are like, "Why does he comment every day?" I'm like, "I oh, don't even ask." <laughs> if people need to comment when they went to the gym on Facebook, people should also comment when they didn't go to the gym. Like, I'm going to yes. start ranking. Didn't go to the gym today, lol. I, Hashtag Fitspo. People should just do what I do. Instead of doing a Twitter or a Facebook status about the fact you went to the gym, just go to the dairy and get a chocolate bar for your well done. That's what I do. And yeah. it is kind of not really working, but it still feels good. It yeah. feels great. Yeah, it feels great. Very satisfying. Thanks, Courtney. Thanks. Guy Sharon and Clint's itch. Last week we were touched by the man An angel. That, the man that Sharon described as a ginger Jesus. No, I didn't describe him as that. A listener well, text him. I'm gonna describe him as that now because it felt like that, because he was beautiful and I loved him so much. Ed Sharon came into the studio and we cheekily uh, suggested, just casually in conversation, even though we wanted it really bad, that he should give a crack at uh, Lord's Royals. Yeah. Ended up him doing it after two minutes prep. Yeah. We put it on YouTube. It immediately got like 150,000 views. Yeah. And uh, Sharon got it mentioned and got tweeted at by Perez Hilton. It's gone worldwide, girl. Genuinely. Well, exclusive, well, exclusive. Genuinely quite amazing. This is a little bit of it. He learnt it in something ridiculous like two and a half minutes. Two minutes, 25, exactly. And then busted it out live on the radio. I've never seen a diamond in the flesh. I cut my teeth on... And yeah, it's getting worldwide attention. So it's quite interesting when you put something like this out onto the interwebs because you attract the attention of what I'm going to call weirdos a little bit. Yeah, some of the comments that have come up on the YouTube version of this song is very, very strange. One in particular, I think we need Clint to read because he's got the creepiest voice. Oh, <laughs> I was, thought I was getting a compliment there and then... No, uh, yeah. like, good creepy. <laughs> okay. He's got a point, though. Listen to this. This comment on our YouTube video comes from Shane Clyde. It says, All I ever see in the comment section are all these really hot and beautiful girls saying that this red-headed, podgy-looking guy who wears everyday clothes and is... Uh, that wears everyday clothes is hot and sexy and they would marry him. 
Like, where the F were you girls when I was younger and all I ever got called was red knob because of my red hair? <laughs> Ten years ago, all I ever got from girls was, ooh, he has red hair and freckles. If I had one of those pretty girls in the comments below say about me what they said about Mr. Sharon, I would be walking around with a permanent rock-hard boner in my jeans. Wow. <laughs> Amazing. See, the difference between Ed Sheeran and that guy is that he can't sing beautiful love songs. And once you give a guy a guitar, he's instantly beautiful. Guy Sharon and Clint on the edge. Talofa and thank you. Talofa, does it mean goodbye as well? I don't know. Um, That's aloha. Aloha. Aloha's hello. Aloha goodbye. and thank you. When you went on the Clint uh, on the show yesterday, Clint, yeah. um, we tried to teach me some Māori, uh, which was tricky because you were normally our Māori language yeah. ambassador. Yeah. And uh, people, I asked what my name was in Māori, and some guy called up and said something. What did he say it was? They said his name was Laho. <laughs> <laughs> Which apparently... Do you know what that means? Yeah. Uh, do you know what it means? Yeah, we know what it means. What do you it? know? Isn't it your... um? Yeah. 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 yeah in in Samoan. <laughs> Not Māori, though, because there's yeah. no L in the Māori yeah, language. Yeah, because everyone says you're a Laho. I actually, you know what? This, I was in bed and I heard this break, and guys like, oh, thank you very much. I am Laho. <laughs> <laughs> I love also that we were joking on air yesterday that you were at home listening to the show the whole day and you tried to pretend you weren't but you, and you only listened to one break but you've, you've accidentally said about seven different breaks that you heard. Hey, so, Clint. But it's I good re- to have you back. I Even though really Guy was saying Guy was saying yesterday how it was so much better that you weren't here. Hey. Yeah. He said it on air. Why wouldn't I listen to the show? I enjoy the show. I appreciate you. Why is it weird clips? that I listen to the show? Because you're sick. So I got nothing else to do. I'd watched all my Mad Men. Go you know, to sleep and take a pan at old girl. Do you know what I do? I download the podcast, and what? that's weird. Do you? Because I'm listening to this bit here that I'm just saying right now. I at this point I should have gone, guy, turn it off, mate. You know what you're going to say, and it's just going to be you talking about listening to the podcast. And you are listening to the podcast, and now it's really confusing. Well, I listened to the podcast once, and it lasted 17 minutes, and I was like, play a goddamn song already. And I was getting really angry. Sharon well, is a terrible advertisement for our podcast, <laughs> everyone, but thank you for downloading it. Well, people that listen to podcasts like podcasts everyone who's heard this much um, thank you very much for listening we love you guys with all the passion in our hearts and if you did hear this much we want to know that you did go to our Facebook page <laughs> facebook.com forward slash each afternoon so don't wanna, make them work no, for no, we're, no, biggest no. Fans. we just want to see if people actually listen yeah. to the end or not we love you like Conrad loves a long drive with his <laughs> on again off again girlfriend Woo! <laughs> see ya I'm not girlfriend and boyfriend. They have fun. Guys, Sharon and Clint podcast. I like it.